All right, Harrison, thank you. Three local schools went into lockdown and four people are in police custody after police responded to a possible threat in far east El Paso County. Yeah, those lockdowns have since been lifted, but students inside the school posting on social media, just giving us a look at what those moments were like. I want to show you this here. Take a look. Now, this video sent to us via FitFam showing us the moment deputies were clearing out those classrooms. Now look at this in the video. You can see students putting their hands in the air during this incredibly tense situation. KFOX 14 News at 5's Julia Spencer live for us in Far East El Paso with more from parents who were waiting outside of that school during this situation, along with what we know so far about the investigation. Julia. But students are back with their family tonight after waiting hours in a lockdown that that they didn't know what exactly was happening within that school. And during this lockdown, these students were trapped in their classrooms within the gymnasium of this school. And parents told me that during the situation, every second that they had to wait, it felt like an hour. And as the time grew longer, the tensions started to rise. Right now, there's, there's no, no injuries. There's no injuries sorry, sorry. right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Okay, no more information as of right now. Hey, let me get my kid and we all leave. We all go home. Yeah, let me, let me go get my kid. I'll go get him. I know what to do. Let us do our job, sir. Okay, let us do our job. Emotions grew tense as parents were worried about the safety of their children. After a situation prompted a lockdown at Mountain View High School, East Montana Middle, and Montana Vista Elementary. This morning we received notification of an individual with a weapon. They did detain, detain an individual. El Paso Sheriff, Constable, SWAT team, and ambulances all responded to the scene. Parents waited outside of the school, many of them growing impatient. They say the school district lacked proper communication. My son is in, is in there and that the administrators are being told to tell the children it's a drill. This is not a drill. Look at this police presence. This is not a drill. They didn't really communicate anything with us. They but the superintendent of Clint ISD says otherwise. One thing that I want to make clear is that we will always be transparent to our parents. A few hours, parents were reunited with their kids. Many of them say they're frustrated these kind of things are happening at school. This is happening more and more, and this, this should not happen. I think I'm just tired of all of the weapons with school and school shootings. I think they definitely need to change the laws in El Paso, Texas, or Texas in general. It's a slap on the wrist for these guys. That's why they keep doing it. Now, the El Paso County Sheriff's Department hasn't shared any of the identities of the four people arrested yet or what kind of weapon was on this campus. However, once we have that information and those updates, we'll be We'll be sure to provide that to you both on air and online at kfoxtv.com. I'm reporting live from Far East El Paso, Julia Spencer, KFOX 14 News at 5.